Hello, this is Steve from Beatles Leatherworks. Today's project is, you're gonna love this one. This beaten up, well-worn, very well used, much loved Louis Vuitton bucket bag. As you can see, it's seen its better days. And the fabric's all worn out. The vinyl's all cracked. But it has a shoulder strap also. But it has sentimental values. Okay? Now I know what you guys are thinking. You're saying, why in the world would somebody want to repair that? We just throw it away, get another one. Well, that question never comes up with my restorations okay because there's always a story behind a bag that I restore and um, when we do this type of restoration it means that the bag means a lot to the customer and they want to salvage whatever they can out of it it has a lot of history behind it and they want to keep it and um, what I'm gonna do I'm going to bring it back believe it or not we're gonna resurrect this bag and once it gets done, it's going to look very much not new. No way. It's not going to look new. I mean, I never promise things are going to look new. It's going to be presentable, and she's going to be able to wear it for many years to come. All right, so let's get started. Now, a couple of issues that, that's, that's going to come up are the eyelets, for example. Okay? Now, I'm, I'm thinking that I can salvage those eyelets. I'd like to salvage them, right? Because I want to take that out and, and put them back to reuse them again. It's very difficult to salvage eyelets, grommets, whatever we want to call them, once they're hammered, to bring them back and reuse them again. And what happens is when you hammer it, it opens up like a mushroom. It opens it up on the inside like a mushroom and pushes down on that washer there to secure that down. So to try to bring the edges up and then put it through the new material and hammer it down is going to be difficult. For example, here's one I took apart. Okay, now the washer in the inside, I don't think I can salvage that. I've got washers, I can use washers, no big deal, we can put new ones on there. But we'd like to salvage that, which we have the Louis Vuitton name on there. Now this one, as you can see the difference, one's shinier than the other one. I simply took a triple zero steel wool and clean that up a little bit okay doesn't make it look brand new but it kind of cleans it up gives it a new facelift now again the challenge is going to be is that trying to reuse that so I'm going to remove all these eyelets and see if I can salvage see if, if, I, don't, if I can salvage them. I don't know if I can but we're going to try to figure something out now the wash underneath is very thin I can't fit anything in between the washer and the actual body of the eyelet other than a thin razor blade. I kind of lift it up a little bit, grab the end there, and just pull up on the washer. Just like that. And the eyelet's off. So we're going to do those later. I don't want to sit here on camera for, for an hour trying to uh, straighten that out but I've got to be able to salvage all of them if one of them doesn't work then I'm stuck can't use the rest of it so we're gonna have to make it work that's all there is to it there's no ifs or buts about it a couple of things that it's going to change on this bag Sure, it's not going to look like 
it did when it was new. Okay, we know, we know that. And, um, and the customer's okay with that. All she wants is her bag back to be able to use in a, you know, usable condition. For example, this side piece right here, instead of it being about an inch, we're going to make it a little bit wider to cover those torn fabric areas. Okay. Then, um, obviously the D-ring, the D-ring can't be any wider. So at the, at the top right here, the leather strap, we're going to thin it down to accommodate that size D-ring. So that's one of the changes. And um, I'm still debating whether I should put something at the bottom of this, like a leather piece, like an inch of leather band all the way across. We'll see. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm improvising as I go along. And I mean, there's not really a right or wrong way to do this. It's just, let's get it done and make sure that she can use it again. Try to be careful not to scratch the top part of the of the eyelet there. We don't want any, any scratches on there. All right, let's continue. for the side rivets there. See those rivets? Yep, we're going to try to reuse them again. Now this is how I salvage them. Something like that. Go right underneath it. Wiggle it. See that? It's in two pieces. But this is what we were trying to salvage. <laughs> so at least the top part will have the LV on there. Okay? The cap, sometimes you can salvage them. Uh, it's in two pieces, right? That's the cap right there that goes on top. Now, this one, we salvage the cap. But the main body of it, one side you can salvage, right? One side would be enough because the top part is what you want to see from the outside it has a name on there. Okay, so we'll salvage those and reuse those. I took the binding off. What was left of the binding? It was look, this was the binding. Woohoo! That was the binding. It's supposed to be one leather piece. So we're getting there slowly but surely. Put some marks on the bottom piece here where the side straps are. Center of the bag, almost center of the bag, but as long as that mark there, where are you? As long as that mark there on the body, the purse, and that is even. Same, same, you know, matching. So when you go to redo it, when you go to restitch it, you want to, you want to kind of duplicate these this mark on the new leather, and when you stitch it, that mark should you know equal up to the body of that, and it'll be nice and centered. All right, let's continue. So some people cringe at this. It's, it's messed up anyway. I, I fix it. I'm not going to mess it up. It can't get worse than what it is now, can it? 
I'm gonna replace this bottom piece by the way. Well, obviously. I know there's a lot of you guys out there in the Louis Vuitton world are turning up your noses at something like this. That's fine, you can do whatever you want. It's all right. I'm still gonna do the job, whether you think it's not worth it or or you wouldn't have, you know, let your bag come to this stage. You just to own. Don't look down on anybody, all right? You don't know the story behind this bag. This customer's gonna be thrilled. She was almost in tears when she found out I could do something to it. Imagine it being already done. This is a mail-in order. It's not uh, it's not a walk-in customer, so I can't get her reaction. Maybe I'll try. I'll see if uh, I'll see what I can do. I'll have to delay the video because once I finish the bag, I usually upload it, then send it to the customer. If we want her reaction, then I have to wait after I finish it so she can record her reaction send it to me then i edit it put it in the video and then show you guys <sighs> might be worth it i'll see so what i'd like to do after everything is done i want to put a lining in here right and um i'd like to do it in red suede I mean, at this stage, we're we're totally, totally redoing the bag. It's not going to be original, which is fine. The customer's okay with that. So why not do something a little, you know, with a little oomph? You heard me. I said oh. Well, we'll see. I just texted the customer and said, I'd like to do that. Let's see what she says. She gave me, you know, full carte blanche. I said, do what you want, but still, I don't want, I don't want her to be surprised with a bright red suede lining. I want her to know what I'm doing. So, we got to get her okay first. If she doesn't want the red suede, it's okay. But I have to. I want to put something in there. I want to put some sort of a lining. In a pocket, the zipper, you know, like um, most linings have. Most most of the linings have a small little um, zipper compartment in one side, back of the bag. So, man, this is just. Look at that! It tore. Oh, lordy, lordy, lord! This is the fun part. Tearing things apart. That's the easy part. Look at that. Now the new uh, Vachetta leather is, is a lot brighter than obviously this, and uh, we're going to um, going to dye it, tint it down, maybe give it a shade something like that close to it right I think anything that I do as long as it matches the entire leather of the bag I think it'll look very nice she wanted it she didn't want that that new leather look she wanted it kind of you know beaten up a little bit well not beaten up but you know what I mean like the aged look and also these hardware um, we were gonna replate it again but I, I told her I don't think it's a good idea so what I am going to do though I'm going to imagine so see this is what it looks like now right again took the steel wool to it look how clean it got now you still see the pits in it of the metal but it's it's pretty clean I think once uh, once it gets cleaned up 
they look real nice along with the along with the eyelets and the buckle on the strap they'll all be old but cleaned up hardware I can put new ones on there but I don't think the new ones will go very well compared to the way they are now so I think it'll be okay we we'll just clean them up and make them look presentable again not brand new can't do brand new I mean I'm, I'm I've, I've been called many things but can't can't do that I mean that's that's impossible all right so the bag is apart Woo! and um, we're gonna clean it up a little bit and um, clean the thread and and put some thought into what the next step is going to be all right so let's continue man these are tedious so basically when the top of this gets hammered down it goes like this so now we have to undo that okay I know it looks a little rough, but I think once it's hammered back together, it'll be okay. Lordy, lordy, lordy. hold these the other one with pliers because you might scratch that surface so you gotta let your fingers do the work Man. it's gotta get done no ifs or buts about it backing out now my fingers are going to be sore tomorrow I can tell you that Just like that. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Alright, so let me show you guys what I came up with, right? Oh, my hook is there. Now, remember earlier I was debating to put a piece on the bottom all the way around, okay? I'm not going to do that. This is what we're going to do. We're going to cut about three quarters of an inch off the bottom okay now what that's going to do that's going to make the height of the bag smaller we don't really want to do that right so this is what we're going to do we're going to put I have to put a piece on the top because these holes are, are about done okay the top part is cracked okay so right at where the old grommet was I don't want to cover the LV because normally covering the LV is not a good thing so I was going to put a piece of leather approximately an inch from the bottom of the grommet area to the top of the bag so instead of doing that we're going to cut three quarter inch off here and we're going to add three quarter inch on here so if we're going to do for example if we were going to do 
an inch of leather, we're going to do an inch and three quarters of leather, which it's going to make the height the same because we're removing a little bit here and we're adding here. Now, the piece of leather is going to cover up those holes and it's going to be right at the edge of that LV. Okay? Then, when we go ahead and put the grommets back in, we're not going to put in the same holes. Obviously, the holes are going to be covered, right? So, we need to put the grommets in the center of the leather piece we're going to put. Just to make it look symmetrical. Because it's not going to look good if, if the leather is longer on the top and the grommets are on a little bit lower. So, we'll punch some new holes and we'll put that grommet right in the middle of that leather piece. Now visually, you're going to have the same height. The height is not going to change, it's going to remain the same. But cutting off the bottom is going to get rid of those unsightly holes. And adding that piece on top is going to reinforce that top where all the cracked uh, fabric is. And cover up all those tears where the grommets used to be. Now I think that's going to look sharp good idea. See some thought goes into stuff like this and at times I come up with these as I'm going along because you try to think about everything but when you start it kind of takes a different direction and you just have to improvise and get it done. All right so let's continue. Yes, I can smoke indoors. Hookah does not leave a residue, smell of residue, like cigarettes or cigars. Can't smoke a cigar indoors, no way. Don't want to do that. So as you can see, it's coming along. I know it's just a piece of fabric, right? But once it gets done, man, it's going to look really, really nice. So the next step would be put that top piece together and then start working on the sides right here. Now, I have to cut all the leather pieces so I can dye them at the same time. We want it to match. So we're going to cut the piping, the side pieces, the bottom piece, the top rim, the top binding, and also all that for the shoulder strap. Okay? Alright, let's continue. Alright, this is the leather we're going to use. See how bright it is, right? It's, it's basically very new. Now I've got a list of what I need. Okay? So, basically I'm going to start by cutting the longest piece, which is for the drawstring. Now, all these cuts are basically rough cuts, right? Because most of the time I'm going to uh, fold the edges over. So, 
If it's a little crooked, it's okay, it'll be fine because I'm gonna fold most of the edges are gonna be folded over. Except for that top piece. The top piece is just gonna be straight in line. So when we're cutting that, we're just gonna make sure that we cut it very even. Now this is basically a natural leather. Natural belting leather is what, I, what, what it's called. Okay. And um, no, it didn't come from Louis Vuitton. Um, the Louis Vuitton leather is a little refined. Their tanning processes are slightly different. The quality is a little better than what this is, but this is basic Vachetta leather. Okay? All right. Next, we're going to start following the list. As we cut it, we're going to circle it. And once it's all cut, then we go ahead and, and dye it, tint it a little bit of a, like a brownish shade, like a tannish shade. All right, let's continue. This is just the test piece. I'm trying to get the tone not too bad. I think it'll work. And once I put some conditioners on it, it'll kind of antique it down. So this is almost like a base coat.
guys get the idea. Let's continue. All right, so basically we have this piece cut out, as you can see. We stitched it right on the bottom of that, where the eyelets were. So I'm gonna cut that piece out because the, this extra piece that's left over right here. Because um, I'm afraid that the grommets, eyelets, whatever you wanna call them, if I'm putting another piece of material here, leather lining, it might be a little too thick. It might not work as far as the, the stem of the grommet might be too short. So I'm going to cut this piece out. That way I just have this and the leather lining that on top, which would be perfect. I think it should work. See, it's beginning to take shape. So on this edges here of the leather, I put a little bit of mahogany, like a burgundy edging. Now you can do any color you want, but you know, at this point, we're just going to improvise and some of the Louis Vuitton have a little bit of reddish finish. And um, I think once it's complete, it'll look really nice. All right, let's continue.
Oh, this is the this is the edge coat. Feebing's edge coat. But there are edge coats that that leave a plastic edge. Those over time kind of break down and crack and so this one just gives it a natural not too shiny, just natural edge to it. I'm putting a crease on the edge here. The crease is just like a little line right on the edge. Most of the times have these. If you pay attention, just look next time on the edge of the straps. See that thin line there? kind of finishes the strap off. Now, sometimes I warm this tool up. Sometimes I use a cold. No rhyme or reason, just whatever. Whatever I feel like at the moment. But there are tools that um, put this edge color on. I've been meaning to get one and I just haven't had a chance to order it. It's okay, keep the phone work fine for now. It's an Italian company, I forgot the name of it. I'm sure one of the viewers will know what it is and comment. You guys are like encyclopedia, man. Oh, if you guys have a mind that shows my age. <laughs> you guys are like Google, man. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Man, I crack myself up sometimes. Not too many jokes tonight, huh? You notice that? What's up with that? Like, too serious. I'm a little tired. It's late night. I'm just, you know, kind of chilled and there goes a q-tip just chilling a little bit and trying to get work done now we're going to put a piece of uh, material here okay because that's going to be the structural support of the shoulder strap d-rings there you want that to be a little bit uh, strong so it doesn't fall apart okay all right, let's continue. Hello. Yes, I'm still here. All right, let's check it out. It's not too bad, huh? Remember that side piece was a little bit, a little bit thinner, right? It was an inch, seven eighths or so, and we made it an inch and a half. We narrowed the corners of the leather to accommodate the deering. And um, now you don't see any crack, nothing. There's no cracks visible. Everything is underneath the leather pieces. Now, once the other side gets done, okay, then we'll be ready to, to do the bottom piping and the bottom piece assembly. Once that gets done, we go to working on the lining. Once you put the lining together and you put the top binding on, then the grommets go in. Then we work on the shoulder strap and then we are done. It's a long way to go still. I'm getting a little tired. I think I'm going to have to continue this tomorrow or whatever. I'll try a little work a little more. All right, let's continue. This is what will become the piping. Now I've skived this leather down, right? I've thinned it out because you can't really do this 
when it's in, you know, in this thickness. It's not going to work. It's too thick for that. Oh, I guess we can say this is hammer time. <laughs> a little bit of a hammer time. Bag uh, restoration, there isn't that much hammering going on. Cool. Now we get to stitch it on the bottom of the bag. Yes, sir. Alright, it's coming along okay, so once it gets stitched, look at that. It's gonna look pretty. It's gonna look pretty, man. Alright, let's continue. Angle here. You guys can see what I'm doing now. I can see what I'm doing now. Boy, I can hear the comments now. That's not really a real Louboutin now. Who cares? Customer's happy. When you have a Louis Vuitton, don't get it restored like this. You don't want it like that. You don't want it. You want it still be a Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Vuitton. I always say to each his own. Okay? That's it. That's it. I think it looks kind of cool. A little spin on the classic design. Now here, where the connection, you know, from the beginning to end, we're going to have to cut it, sky the end. We'll mark it like that. Cut it. Okay. And then we got to basically just sky the end. I've already skived one side. Now if I can get the blade in here. Sky this side. Good luck. I hate to stop and, and take it off the machine and start stitching again. I guess I'm going to have to now. This ain't working. All right. So as you can see, see that part is scabbed right there, right? And we're going to scab the opposite so we can overlap it on top of each other. 
like that. I stitch it across. But now we gotta scab this side so it'll kind of like on top of each other, okay? Okay. Yes, I got the knife. And yes, it is dull as my, you know, wood. I don't know what that means, but. Dull as my ass fault. <laughs> I bet you thought I was going to say something else. I got you. All right. A little bit of glue. on the other side. I'm sure there's other ways of doing this, you know, but this is the way I do it. Alrighty then. Looking good. Woohoo! Let's pull this thread on the bottom here so nothing sticks out. Let's pull this thread on the bottom here too. While we're here. Come on now. Like that. And like that. Just like that. A little bit of French is coming out of me. I do have some cousins in France. I think I'm going to go see him next year. Claude. One of my favorite cousins. Crazy cousin, but he's one of my favorites. Okay, and the joint is hardly noticeable, right? Right there. I see it, but it's not bad. All right, piping's done. Let's continue. All right, so at this stage, basically, we have we have the bottom feet. Oh, we put bottom feet on there, by the way. We've got the piping bottom assembled. Still got to give it some shape. Hammer the edges flat a little bit. Now we get to work on. We get to work on the interior and the shoulder strap. And then once everything is done there, then we get to put the eyelets in or grommets in. Did you guys hear somebody walk around? Yo, come here. Come here. Come here. He always goes on that side. I have the camera here, but he'll go on the other side. Alright, I gotta back up now. Come here. Come here. Come on up. Yeah. Oh, he's choking me. Oh. Who's that? Is that the camera? Look over there behind you. Look over there. Look over there. Look over there. Ah. <laughs> Some juicy. People want to see you. Becoming a star now. Stay. Oh, nice. Camera malfunctioning so I can watch the dog. There you go. There you go. Come here. Stay. Stay. There you go. Look over here. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. You seen yourself the camera? Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Show me some teeth. All right. You done? No? You want some more loving? I guess he doesn't want to go. <laughs> you gotta see him, eh? There he is. And there he goes. Okay, come on. Go place. Place. Good boy. Alright, let's continue. Alright, so we've got the pocket done. Okay. And on the other side, Oh, by the way, the customer okayed the, the red suede. I forgot to mention that to you guys. So she also requested if she can have some phone pockets or some something for sunglasses or whatever it is. So this is what I came up with. Better than nothing. Now reinforce the back because it is suede. It's very easy for it to stretch. Um, and then we've got another piece underneath here for the pocket so that doesn't stretch out of shape too much. So the longevity of it, you know, it'll last a long time. Um, without any, you know, it won't get 
this formed. Is that the good word? It is a word now. <laughs> it won't lose its shape, basically, right? And um, these two pieces are going to be stitched together. Okay? And then add the bottom piece. And then we can slide it into the purse. Stitch, glue, put the binding on top. And then we'll add our eyelet or grommets in. All right, let's continue. I've got some marks cut out right there. Basically, that's the center here. Center there. Same with that. Same with that. The center right there. Notched it out. And obviously that's the middle on the sides so even though it just looks like I'm stitching but I'm following some guidelines guide marks you're gonna have to do that I mean most of the time you're stitching you have to have some sort of guide marks to kind of help you out you know because if you don't nothing's gonna nothing's gonna line up and nothing's gonna work It's a lot easier if you have if you have those guidelines. Not only makes it look better, it'll 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 be easier to put things back together. Now, if those guidelines don't don't come exactly where they're supposed to be, you can you can pull and put. I ran out of bobbin thread. You can push and pull a little bit just to kind of maneuver them, and you can um, you can you can make it work. They're close enough to to be able to do that. The machine's got a bobbin on the bottom, so that's that's the bobbin thread. The bottom thread is the bobbin. because I'm on camera it's giving me a hard time unbelievable usually goes on in two seconds and it's finished got caught on something nice oh my god seriously I swear this never happens only when you're on camera Try this again. <laughs> oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lord, Lord, Lord. All right, close that up. And where were we? Guidelines, guide marks, whatever you want to call them. Especially with suede. Suede is very stretchy material. You can kind of maneuver that. <clears throat> stretch as much as you like. Not, not too much stretch out of shape, but you get the idea.
see some more Zeus. Zeusy. Come here. Come on. Hey, come up here. You see him? Come on, up. Up. Okay. I'm going to get you up. Ah. Look at that. Hey. I guess I gotta take him out. Let's continue. All right, the lining is assembled. We'll start with the sides, line up the seam to the middle of that. Okay, do the other side now. We'll just kind of work our way around. Too bad. At this point, we're going to. This is going to be our binding. What we got to do is I got to finish the edges with with a little bit of edge coat and then put the lines, stitch that on there, and then we'll go ahead and put our grommets in. All right, let's continue. All right, so we're putting the eyelets on now, grommets, whatever the heck we call them. I mean, it seems to be okay, right? Doesn't look too pretty on the inside, but I mean, I'm I'm so I'm so limited to what I could do trying to salvage these. Even I had to uh, I had to make do with the old washers in the back because the ones I had were a little too small or too big and it just didn't work. Got to make the opening a little bit wider with some anvils. Anvil. Advil. That's what I need now. And there's only so much I could do with the interior looks of it. You know? I mean, I'm lucky I could salvage them like this, to be honest with you. It's a pain in the butt trying to, trying to get these, save them. Once they're used, I mean, it's, it's almost, well, obviously it's not impossible to bring them back, but it doesn't look as good in the interior anyway. These are a little deformed. So we just have to kind of make the inside opening a little bit wider so it'll kind of go over the old uh, old opening of the grommet.
work actually. So these might be an issue on the sides. I'm gonna leave those for last. Let me just keep my fingers crossed. Just the leather's a little thick now. I've thinned down. I've thinned the leather out a little bit there because what you have there is two two layers of leather. So I took in the back. I took one layer out. So it won't be so thick, but. have a bad feeling. This is only so high. See that? That little piece on the inside the stem. It's got to be long enough, high enough when you're hammering that kind of curls over. Or when it's too thick of a leather, it's not going to work. Almost at the end of this project. Oh, I still have to make the shoulder strap. That's the easy part. That's the easy part. Let's continue. We're making the drawstring now, right? So this is a nylon reinforcement between the leather. So basically, when it gets tugged, it doesn't stretch out of shape. We're going to hammer this together. We're going to stitch it. And we're going to cut the edge. Put uh, some edge coat on there. And we'll be ready for the bag. Alright, let's cut this end off here. Oh, not with that scissor. Okay. We'll go ahead and stitch that. Alright, let's continue. Alrighty. Put a little die on there, and the drawstring is done. 
All right, let's continue. All right, welcome back. And we have a finished bag. Yeah, I know some people are gonna say, oh, that's not a real Louis Vuitton bag. How could you do that to a Louis Vuitton bag? Well, I did it, okay? Doesn't matter. People are always gonna talk, okay? Everybody's gonna have opinions. The only opinion that matters is the customer's opinion when they open the box and they see it they're ecstatic and they're happy that's that's the only that's the only important you know part of this job you know and um i'm going to try to see if i can get a a short video of her unboxing it she said she would but let's see what happens you know i hope she does it would be really cool so she's really excited about it and um, I'll add that video on to the end of the video, like a bonus video. It turned out pretty good, I think, you know? Now, it, on the video, it does show a little bit like a yellowish tint, but in real life, it's not bad color, actually. It's pretty good. You got a nice uh, shoulder strap. Saved all the hardware. Just cleaned it up a little bit. With some triple zero steel wool. She's got, she's got feet on the bottom. All the pieces, I mean, all the leather got replaced on there. Now, I think this turned out pretty good, too. Remember, the side piece wasn't as wide, right? But I think it turned out good. We salvaged the Louis Vuitton rivets, if you can see that. And every, every grommet has the Louis Vuitton right side up. They're all the same. No, neither one of them is upside down. It says Louis on top and Vuitton on the bottom. Just like it should be. Alright. And she approved of the red um, red suede lining. I think I think it turned out pretty good. There's your pocket. See the eyelet, uh, the washers in the back? I know it looks a little rough, but I could only do so much with this piece. I know. I wish I could make that better looking, but I mean, if we're going to reuse a 30-year-old um, you know grommet trying to straighten it out and and reuse it again it's difficult to make it look like it was new it's impossible it's not just me it's just it's just impossible to do and uh, she requested a couple of pockets on the other side which I put it in for phones or eyeglasses or whatever the case maybe keys and um, I think overall I think it turned out pretty good I'm going to soften this top up a little bit by kind of squeezing and hammering it so if she wants to close it, you know, she can close it like it's supposed to be. Like that, you know. But I think um, when I first got it, the drawstring wasn't even, it was just kind of sitting there. It wasn't like this. Cool. I like it. I think it turned out good. I'm happy that it is done. I've had it for a while and um, we just had a timeline of uh, before Thanksgiving and that's not till maybe another about 30 days or so but you know what I'm glad it's done finished okay so if you have any questions please guys a lot of you guys are asking questions about repairs on the comment section just email me beatos at yahoo.com it's okay any question it doesn't matter but but again I may not see all the comments on there and if I don't ask you to answer your question I don't want you to be upset with me okay all right so subscribe if you like these videos hit that bell button on the bottom so you can watch more of my videos I know there weren't that many jokes this time or, or hammer time but you know what it's okay sometimes you just have to get into business and get it done finish it up and move on to the next one all right i got many 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 more projects i want to record so i'll keep you guys posted all right thank you for joining me i appreciate it comment share good and bad doesn't matter any comments i'll take and uh, we'll see you again on the next project take care hi i'm liz from st petersburg florida and in this box is a 1987 Louis Vuitton feed bag purse 
that just arrived from Beto's Leatherworks. Um, I uh, got it for a college graduation gift over 30 years ago. Um, my mother worked overtime um, to be able to buy it for me. And um, for 30 years, I abused it. I used it as carry-on luggage when I traveled. I neglected it. And for 10 of those years, it was in a damp closet. And so it was pitiful. So I am hoping that Steve could resurrect it, repair it, refurbish it, whatever. And, um, and it's here and this is the first time I'm gonna see it. So um, I am very nervous. I'm very excited. Um, I took it to two leather workers here um, and they wouldn't touch it. Louis Vuitton wouldn't touch it. Um, and I was just gonna put it in a drawer because uh, I couldn't bear to throw it away. And um, uh, a work colleague suggested Beto's and um, said that Steve was known to work miracles. And I figured I had nothing to lose. So in blind faith, I put it in a box and I shipped it to Virginia and it's back. And I'm so flipping excited. So I am glad that I took before pictures. So I'm just gonna remind myself what it looked like. It was pitiful. The leather was disintegrating. Um, it was pretty much rotting. Um, my mother would be mortified if she knew that that's what it looked like. Um, so I'm gonna open it for the first time. And um, I had a weird request. I told Steve that I wanted it to look 30 years old. I didn't want that like new, um, raw looking leather you know i wanted it, the leather to be dark and caramel like like it was like it took 30 years to create and i didn't want the grommets to be all shiny and gold um you know i wanted them to be kind of patina so I, I wanted it to look like it was over 30 years old but better so i know that was a weird request and i hope i communicated it to him um and i hope he was able to do it so all right, so um, my son is documenting this. This is a truly live reveal. My husband might be coming in the door here shortly, but um, okay, here we go. Okay, it's the box is smaller than I, um, I don't know. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but um, anyway, it's nicely wrapped, okay. I don't know what end is, okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! Okay. All right. So, love the leather. Does it look like that brand new? Um, I gotta put my glasses on. Um, it doesn't look like that new raw leather. The grommets are beautiful. They are beautiful. Oh, jeez. Okay. And okay. So I had an extra long strap. And it looks exactly, exactly. It had this thing. Oh my God. Oh, oh, he's, he did, yeah, these aren't new. These are warm, but they're like perfectly warm. Um, it, I, it is, it's it, it's it. They don't make this model anymore, you know, so that was another sentimental reason. Um, I wanted to keep the, what the? Oh my God, okay. So um, the purse, what, can you get that? Mm -hmm. The purse wasn't lined. It never, was. I mean, it came that way. It was, I don't know, it wasn't lined. And of course there were no cell phones in 1987. So there was no pockets. And I was thinking like, how, how could we do that? And I could have a pocket for my phone or my sunglasses. And he flip and put in like red suede, there is a zippered, a zippered pocket. There is three, there are three pockets like a purse has. It's like, it's like been updated and it's my purse. It is, it's my purse, there's my long strap, this. And that's the original Louis Vuitton material. Oh, he put um, feet on it. They didn't even have that. Um, he put feet on it. So this, 
is really great. And um, thank you, Steve. Um, I never imagined it to look like this. And I swear to God, I know they, I, I know they say that like on reality shows, but I never would have thought you could have done it. And, and here's the before. Um, and you can see the leather disintegrating. And um, there's the after. Uh, <laughs> and I am just thrilled because I'm gonna see my mom and dad um, at Thanksgiving. And um, I'm gonna be able to show it to her. So, mwah, thank you, Steve. Um, this is just really, really, really great. So thank you. All right.